Ah, oh, Betty. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Tuesday. It is high 60s already, probably. Uh, sunny. Let the girls out about 9 a.m. And they're just not too active today yet. Punky Leghorn was just sitting on the nest. I'm going to go check for an egg. Uh-oh. I'm too late. Another one got to it first. Hi, Bruce. I lit up the burn barrel this morning. I had some burnables to get rid of and a couple of old boards with nails in them that were in the chicken run that I forgot about so I grabbed those real quick and yep these ladies had an egg for breakfast when I came out this morning there was eggshell on the floor that's happened once before, twice before, when uh, my decoy eggs got smashed or cracked or whatever happened to them. And so I found, this is the third time I found shells in there. This time it was a blue shell though. So that's, have to keep your eye on that. Maybe those ceramic things aren't a bad idea. I'm keeping my eye out for, you know, Oval rocks. It's Tuesday morning, uh, probably about 10.30. I just brought these two trays out here. And it is 70 degrees, low 70s. So it's probably a little warmer out here than it is inside. And they're doing good. This flat are Cosmos Bright Lights. And these Livingston Seed. Uh, Tom, who visited from college, gave me these. And several more packs also. Uh, these are Xenia, Cut and Come Again, Burpee. And these are Xenia, Giants of California, American Seed, uh, Dollar General Store. So this way I've got, I've got, well I can show you inside now, I've got the other three trays under the light. Actually I won't show you that. <laughs> the weather forecast on Sunday calls for a high of 48 and an overnight low of 30. So that would be Sunday night, uh, Monday morning, 30. So these will not be going anywhere uh, outside until next week and then hopefully next week but I'll keep my eye on the weather uh, that would be great if mid next week like now a week from tomorrow Wednesday yeah get them going get them going have flowers in June What's going on in here, ladies? We've only got two hens out, invisible. That means we have three hens and two nests. 
Somebody wants to lay an egg and is mad somebody else is hogging it. Yeah. And they have been using both nests. They haven't preferred one to the other yet. So it's all cool.